Hi everyone. Today in this video let us discuss one of the anti-cancer agent imatinib. What is this drug imatinib? Imatinib is one of the anti-cancer agent which is classified as tyrosine kinase inhibitor. We have many of the drugs within this chemical category like jeftinib, nilotinib, sorafenib, erlotinib. All these are ending with the same suffix nib which indicates they are tyrosine kinase inhibitors. Specifically imatinib is having the suffix tinib which clearly denotes it is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. So imatinib is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor that is given in the ester form mesylate. This drug can be used as anti-cancer agent in the treatment of various types of leukemias. Among them one of the important type of leukemia is chronic myeloid leukemia which is commonly known as CML. In this condition imatinib mesylate proved useful in controlling the leukemia within few weeks of the treatment and this CML is a chronic disorder commonly observed in the people with Philadelphia chromosome positive patients. This is one type of chromosomal genetic disorder which is observed in few of the people and in such people we can observe genetic mutations which increases the uncontrolled proliferation leading to leukemia and formation of abnormal blood cells. In such patients we have the genes coding for the tyrosine kinase are mutated. For instance BCR ABL is one of the oncogene which is mutated to produce uncontrolled proliferation because of excessive activity of tyrosine kinase and cell signaling. So this results in uncontrolled proliferation leading to formation of abnormal blood cells. When it is untreated it can lead to the severe chronic myeloid leukemia. So in such conditions imatinib can be given which is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor and it can reduce the proliferation of abnormal blood cells by controlling the tyrosine kinase linked cell signaling. So today in this video we are going to discuss how this imatinib acts, what are the important precautions, side effects, doses, all these things we will discuss in this video. So let us start with how this drug acts. Already we have discussed that imatinib acts on one of the tyrosine kinase which is coded by the gene BCR ABL. This BCR ABL can produce few of the fusion proteins which are hang the tyrosine kinase activity. Now this is one of the enzyme which is hang the tyrosine kinase activity. Now this enzyme can bind to the substrate and when it is bound the substrate is hang the tyrosine residue. This tyrosine residue can be phosphorylated in order to produce the cell signaling. Now ATP is required for this phosphorylation. ATP can bind to ATP binding site present on this tyrosine kinase enzyme. After binding to this site, one of the phosphate molecule can be transferred to this tyrosine residue resulting in the phosphorylation of the substrate. Now when the substrate is phosphorylated, it is going to be activated and it can interact with another target. This target can then interact with so many pathways and finally it can interact with the DNA resulting in the release of various mediators which are responsible for cell proliferation. In this way tyrosine kinase is responsible for cell proliferation and in the people with Philadelphia chromosome positive disorder this tyrosine kinase activity is excessively increased resulting in uncontrolled cell proliferation. In such people imatinib can be given which can block this ATP binding site on this enzyme. When this site is going to be blocked ATP cannot bind to this site now even substrate binds to this tyrosine kinase enzyme, it cannot be phosphorylated, so it cannot activate the cell signaling pathway. In this way imatinib can control the cell signaling mediated by tyrosine kinase activity. Now let us the precautions of this imatinib. One of the important precautions of imatinib is that this drug can produce edema conditions, so swelling of legs and peripheral edema can be observed. This is because of increased fluid retention activity produced by this drug. Since this drug produces edema, it should be carefully given in the people with excessive body weight or any other cardiovascular disorders. And in few of the people, it can also increase the weight gain. So thoroughly weight should be monitored when this imatinib is prescribed for longer periods. 
because it can increase the unexpected weight which may complicate other pre-existing conditions leading to any cardiovascular complications. So one of the important precautions of imatinib is the peripheral edema and increased chance of weight gain. Similarly, in the people with any coexisting disorders like diabetes or elevated levels of cholesterol which may lead to atherosclerosis. So if any of these coexisting disorders are existing in the patient, then imatinib should be carefully given as this drug may increase the risk of cardiovascular complications resulting in either congestive to heart failure or precipitation of left ventricular dysfunction. So in such people with any coexisting risk factors, imatinib should be carefully given. Similarly, those drugs which increase the cardiac risk should be carefully combined with this imatinib in order to avoid any fatal cardiac effects. As imatinib is indicated for the treatment of leukemia, use of this drug can also produce various cytopenias affecting the various types of blood cells. It can produce some thrombocytopenia, neutropenia as well as anemia. So these conditions should be carefully monitored when this imatinib is prescribed for longer than six months. And this drug can also increase the risk of hemorrhage, particularly gastrointestinal hemorrhage and perforations can be observed. Similarly, just like many of the anti-cancer agents, imatinib can also precipitate severe hepatotoxicity. That's why before prescribing imatinib, liver functionality test should be done. And at regular intervals, liver functional test should be done in order to assess the liver functionality. This is particularly more important when this imatinib is combined with other hepatotoxic agents. Another precaution with imatinib is its effect of dizziness that can be observed in the few of the people. So this drug can produce dizziness and lightheadedness. Therefore, patients should take precaution while driving the vehicles because it may impair the driving performance. It may lead to few of the accidents due to loss of attention in the people. Just like many of the anti-cancer agents, imatinib should not be given to the pregnant woman because this is teratogenic and it can produce some fetal harmfulness. So it should be better avoided in the pregnant woman. Now let us see the side effects of imatinib. Common side effects of imatinib mainly include various effects like edema because it can increase the fluid retention which may increase the cardiovascular complications and it can also produce gastrointestinal side effects like abdominal pain diarrhea. Similarly, it can also produce some dizziness, lightheadedness, which may impair if you have the daytime activities. Similarly, other common side effects mainly include skin rashes, muscle pain, even it can produce some joint pain and bone pain. Nausea and headache can be observed. Similarly, it can also precipitate fatigue, lack of energy, nasopharyngitis, sinusitis and cold-like symptoms can be observed with this drug. Even it can produce some dry mouth, and sedation and loss of concentration can be observed with this imatinib. Now let us the chemical nature of this drug. So this is the structure of imatinib. Here we can identify the principal functional group as amide which is attached to the phenyl ring. So simply it is a benzamide derivative. To this benzamide on the nitrogen a phenyl ring is attached. So we can write this as N-phenyl. To this phenyl different groups are attached. Let us give the numbering to this phenyl ring. So this is the point of attachment. So it is 1, then 2, 3 and 4. So at the fourth position it is having the methyl group. So 4 methyl. And the third position it is having the amine group. So 3 amino. To this amino group this heterocyclic ring system is attached which is nothing but pyrimidine. Let us give the numbering to this pyrimidine. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now this pyrimidine is attached by second position. So we can write this as pyrimidine 2 il and to this pyrimidine ring at the fourth position pyridine ring is attached by third position so we can write this as 4 dash pyridine 3 il so that completes the name of what are the groups present on the nitrogen of benjamite now if we see the other side here methyl group is attached so we can write this as 4 methyl and to this methyl group piperazine ring is attached with a para methyl group which is nothing but 4 methyl piperazine 1 aisle. That is the complete name of imatinib. But imatinib is chemically a benjamite derivative, which is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. How it is given? This drug is available as a tablet, and the dose of the drug depends on the type of clinical indication. 
the normal dose range is from 400 to 800 mg and this drug should be given along with the food in order to reduce the gastrointestinal side effects but in the people with any hepatic impairment the dose of the drug should be reduced in such people a 300 mg dose can be given in order to treat the leukemia but when the dose is increased to 800 mg the, it should be given as divided doses in order to reduce any toxic effects of imatinib so that's about this drug imatinib which is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor this drug can be used in the different types of leukemia and particularly in the people with philadelphia chromosome disorders where a genetic mutation within the bcr abl gene may produce abnormal blood cells resulting in chronic myeloid leukemia in this condition imatinib mesylate can be given as a tyrosine kinase inhibitor which inhibits the cell signaling pathway mediated by tyrosine kinase activity this drug can produce some fluid retention and increase the edema which may increase the cardiovascular complications and in those people with coexisting risk factors like diabetes or atherosclerosis these cardiovascular complications may be increased and this drug can also increase the severe hepatotoxicity on long term use so liver functionality test should be done to check the development of any liver damage dizziness is another important effect produced by this drug which may impair the driving performance and this drug can also increase the risk of cytopenias and hemorrhage which should be closely monitored so that's all about this drug imatinib that's for today hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video